Hi everyone, I'm making this video in response to the news story that the Queen gives courageous and dedicated NHS to George Cross as William and Kate Market's 73rd birthday, that being the NHS's 73rd birthday. Apparently, the George Cross is awarded for the acts of the greatest heroism or of the most courage in circumstances of extreme danger. Let's read down and you'll see why I think this story is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the Queen has given the George Cross to the National Health Service, recognising its staff past and present across the UK. Although, read down and you'll see that the Queen didn't issue this of her own volition. She had to be advised by the George Cross Committee and the Prime Minister. She goes to say in a handwritten message that was probably written by someone else, over more than seven decades, and especially in recent times, you have supported the people of our country with courage, compassion, and dedication. Now, while I'm not for a second saying that there aren't hard-working people employed by the NHS, it makes me wonder if when they were thinking of, particularly in recent times, acts of bravery and extreme danger, whether they awarded it for how the NHS bravely counselled life-saving treatment for cancer sufferers and other seriously ill people, how the NHS bravely mocked those people by making TikTok videos which showed them doing choreographed dancing, demonstrating just how much time this staff had on their hands, the way the overrun NHS staff bravely found time each Thursday at 8pm to down tools and go outside to bravely receive their applause, despite supposedly being overrun by cases. Or perhaps it was for how the NHS bravely issued do not resuscitate orders on disabled people and the elderly. Or if you want to look back at previous achievements, how the NHS bravely put elderly people on inhumane end-of-life treatment plan, no doubt no end of suffering. Or perhaps how the NHS bravely backed up a lie that's caused misery for thousands, even millions of people over the last couple of years. Now, could it be more than just coincidence that since much of the services provided by the NHS have been sold off to private providers, that they all of a sudden get put on this pedestal that sees unlimited public funds get diverted to them? Yeah, maybe. To see people awarded the George Cross for doing choreographed TikTok videos undermines previous winners of this award. It's like hearing Tony Blair received the Nobel Peace Prize despite despite causing the deaths of thousands of people by making his decision to go to war. One that again was for the financial gain. Talking about the staff, I know people that work for the NHS. I know there's hard-working people whose jobs have been made an awful lot more difficult over the last couple of years by the ridiculous measures that have been brought in. Perhaps this achievement will mean that they may actually have a cause for a decent pay rise this year. Well, we'll have to see. As always, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this one. Leave a comment in the comment section. And as always, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care.